Hello everyone, Regina here with Refuge One. As promised, we're going to make the white tail flag. What we're gonna do with this white is we're going to add all the colors that represent the kingdom of God in praise and worship. Refugeone.net guys, like my page, subscribe. Let me know that you like the videos. Let me know if they're helping you. And if you have any tips, please share because we all need help and you may be holding on to information that can help someone else, <laughs> namely me. <laughs> so anyway, we're gonna make this. Let me tell you something though first about um, satin. In the other video, we were talking about uh, satin and silks and uh, rayons and uh, what to buy. If you're gonna uh, buy satin material, there's a difference. Make sure you get custom satin, not bridal satin. Bridal satin is very heavy. Custom satin is light. It'll make a really nice flag. As you can see, I've already cut the uh, pattern out and um, I've noticed something about this material, guys is very, very sensitive and it's not heat friendly at all. So you're going to want to set this on your lowest setting or you will mess up your material. I had already started my seam um, so that I could get it ready for you guys so that you can see. I've been making my orange flags this morning too. It's very slippery. And um, it's very tedious to work with. But once you get your desired cut, and then you can go back in and you can manipulate it to get um, the actual cut that you truly desire. But I'm going to tell you right now, this is a very crafty material. It's a very slippery material you <laughs> said you have to be very careful with this material indeed so we're going to be making the white today from the satin it really is pretty and shimmery though too i got this at walmart for a dollar and 94 cents a yard Walmart really has a nice craft department. The only thing is, is that you don't have anyone to help you at Wally World. So, um, yeah, when you go, if you go to Wally World to get your material, expect to spend an entire afternoon just trying to get someone over to help you. Um, that's... Um, Anytime you go, I'm going to tell you something about Wally World. You can go in Wally World and lose your religion. You have to be very, very careful. They're short-handed. They're overworked, underpaid. And you have to treat it. If you go in there shop, shopping for material, just word to the wise. Make sure that you don't have anywhere else to go because you're going to expect to spend some time in there. If you get out of there, praise Jesus. If you get out of there in less than 10 minutes, you know, praise the Lord. But treat it like a doctor's appointment is what I'm saying. And expect to spend all day in there trying to get you some material. And then when you do, buy a bunch of it. Make it worth your while. I walk out of there with the entire roll. I kid you not. I just ask them, how much is on this roll? I'll take it. And just walk out of there with that whole roll. That way you don't ever have to go back <laughs> until you run out. It will it will last you a long time. But really, that orange material that we made, um, the orange tail flags out of, this is a little bit of it. This was only a dollar a yard. So needless to say, yeah, I, I bought that entire roll. There was over nine yards of material on that roll. And there was a discount that they did give me because I waited so long. So, um, you know, in addition, needless to say, I walked out of there with my total being $8.01 for that entire roll of fabric. So, but as you can see, once we get this on here and get it going, 
that's pretty nice. I mean, look at that. Ooh, yeah. That's nice. That is nice. So, this is the satin. You guys know the routine. I just wanted to show you. I'm going to finish my flag. And um, even with the, the tips on here, let's just see how it works with our fire before I go. See how it works. Because I've not used the fire on this yet. So, let's see how it's going to work. We know how it works on rayon. We know how it works on polyester. So let's see how it's going to work on this satin. Let's cut some of it off. We don't want to start a fire. That's a lot. And then, of course, we're going to just <clears throat> taper our end. See how that goes. Yep. Looks pretty good to me. And then going down it to fill our in. As you can see, it works pretty good. Wow, look at that. It actually seals those ends a lot better. Look at that. And the rayon. That's nice, guys. That's really nice. And um, with this one, I think what I'm going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to use um, a blue guinea feather on this one. If I can find it. Bear with me. We have the blue guinea. This would look really pretty uh, on the white. Isn't that pretty? And you see how small that eye is on there? So you're gonna have to pull that out a little bit before you glue it. Just pull it out a little bit. Don't forget to glue your tips. So that it doesn't come apart on you. That's the only thing about those the um, feathers. You do have to glue the tips so that they don't come out or come off on you. But with this, as you can see, that's not going anywhere. This is actually pretty. This this satin, the custom satin is, is a very pretty material. It, it really is. And I'm going to show you guys what it's going to look like. But like I said, lowest setting. You have to use the lowest setting on here. My iron is has a it has a level for silk and satin, but I'm gonna tell you it gets too hot for this satin. So I took it back down to thin synthetics, and it seems to be working just fine. And then we're gonna do the same thing. Come back with our seam tape. And remember, make sure that you buy the tape that is tight knit binding like this. If you if you can see through it, don't buy it. Please do not buy it because you will be so disappointed. And you will spend way more time on your flag than you want to. And you'll mess up your material, too. We don't want to mess up our material. This is our white. Forgive the background noise. We've got a lot of stuff going on in our neighborhood. There's a business that's going up. 
uh, across the street from me. So I'm gonna have business neighbors. Isn't that pretty? And then of course, I'm gonna put our flat, our feather on, on the tip of it. But you can see what that's gonna look like against that satin. Isn't that pretty? That is just gorgeous, it really is. But let's just go in and see what it's gonna look like. All right. And though I have not seared, uh, closed the ends off, sealed the ends off, you can see that I have the half moon and I used a smaller stick as well. And I'll finish my flag, but just so that you can get an idea of what it will look like, this is what it's gonna look like. And we have made, oops, watch out for the silly fan. We've made our white, worship flag isn't that pretty that's so pretty out of the satin if you're blessed enough to find the satin i've only found it at walmart like i said but this is it i'm going to finish my flag i'm going to close off my ends so that they won't fray when i am praising and worshiping with my flag guys like my page subscribe refuge1.net Herbal Teacup, reach out. Give some tips. Let me know what you think about the videos. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. <laughs> Let me know what you think. If you've made these flags, I'd love to know what you think. And I'd love to know how they are working for you as well. But we will be making these flags into multicolor flags. And I'm going to upload a video to show you how to add different materials to your flag so that you can get all of those colors that we talked about in the other videos and what those colors mean in Jesus name. Until next time, guys, I bid you much peace and prosperity and hope in the name of Jesus. Bye.